Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, so glad to be here with you. And today I want to show you a few different options for DIY control rods for your RC airplane. So I'm talking to my fixed wing guys uh, today. And so just so we're all on the same page, a control rod is what is used to connect a servo to a control surface in order to get it to go up and down and actually control the plane and that's part of why it's called a control rod sometimes called like a, a push pull rod or something like that so generally what you would do is um some really good ones that you can get are ones that you can buy like specifically for this purpose for hobby rc aircraft the thing about these is they're kind of expensive i mean they're not too bad it's like but you know they're like a buck a pop now they're not very commonly available like, at least i haven't been able to find any you know locally some things that i've been experimenting with have been uh like this floral wire from the dollar tree so you get like i think six feet for a dollar this safety wire or sometimes called lock wire it's for uh aircraft and this is stainless steel this stuff is a little bit thicker this is uh 41 thousandths actually this stuff is i think 41 thousandths is actually a little bit too thick i think i grabbed the wrong can here but but this is good enough for an example anyway um i think 32 thousandths is probably what i would use um it just kind of depends on you know your control surface and then we have actually uh, yes, these are guitar strings. Find the string, whichever string seems to work best uh, for you. Like this is a really thick one. Um, and it, this stuff actually works pretty good because when it's supported, it actually, you can use it to push and pull. So um, to give you an example, like so the downside to some of these things is that they're not very rigid. You can readily bend them with your fingers. That's, but that's actually kind of an upside. Same thing with this. This one is actually very bendable. Um, this is like some kind of aluminum. Um, compared to these control rods, very flexible, but they don't actually bend very well. So it can actually be very hard to create these little Z bends or these little these little bends right here that actually connect to your um, either your control horn or the, or the you know right there. And then also on the servo right there, you see how it's bent like that. Now this, what I'm using here is actually uh, safety wire. I think this is actually 41 thousandths uh, safety wire and it works really well. So like if you, if, if you don't have a super long run of it, you can actually use quite a bit of this um, even if it's unsupported. If, if you get like much longer than this, I would wanna add some support. But if you're not flying super fast and if you don't have a giant control surface, um, I, I think this is like super adequate, um, especially when it's pulling, you know, because when it's pulling, you're just, you're adding tension um, and instead of when you're pushing, you know, you're kind of, um, it's more likely it's going to bow out if you, if you try to push with this. But yeah, I mean, if for something like a small park flyer, I think uh, safety wire would work just fine. Um, same with this stuff. It's a little bit thicker. This, uh, this floral wire from the Dollar Tree. You find this in like the craft section of the Dollar Tree. Um, but the great thing is you can just pretty much bend it like basically with just your fingers. You get some pliers uh, to get a little bit better of a bend there. Um, and so that could work really well. You might have to widen the little control horn on the servo in order to get the right you know, right uh, size hole to fit this in. Another key technique with, with when it comes to using these types of materials for control rods is gonna be supporting the control rod for longer runs. So maybe if it needs to run like the whole length of the aircraft, what you wanna do is use like one of these coffee stirrers to actually, you actually, sl you know, slide the wire. I kind of bent it so it's a little hard to get in there, but you slide the wire through the coffee stirrer that was a really bad example. I shouldn't have put that bend in there. All right, I'll use this. You slide the wire through the coffee stirrer and it's gonna support the wire. This is actually some pretty darn thick wire. It almost doesn't even need support. And it's gonna su help support the wire to keep it from bowing out. And that's pretty much standard practice even on these ones um, that are made for RC aircraft because you, you put you put the coffee stirrer on here and you glue the coffee stirrer to the side of the fuselage or some part of the airplane and then it, it supports the wire and keeps it from bowing when you uh, put pressure on it. That's gonna be especially critical on uh, when, uh, if you're using guitar strings, it's gonna be especially critical. 
um, because the, the guitar strings are very flexible. The, the upside to that flexibility is that you could actually route the guitar strings um, in a kind of a curved fashion. So if you need to kind of change the angle of, of the, uh, you know, from the servo to the control horn, you can actually kind of do that with the guitar strings as long as you actually support them. Just to kind of show you an example here, uh, I don't have the control horns hooked up because th these servos aren't any good anymore, but here's the version of the bat that I have here. And I did, in fact, originally I used guitar strings on the bat. And so you can see um, when it's supported pretty well, we can you know, get quite a lot of control um, just, just using a little guitar string. And you know, it's not a big control surface, of course, um, but it works, works quite well. And it's supported pretty much right out to the end of the fuselage there. So there's maybe an inch or so sticking out, maybe not even that much, but it works very well, actually, like surprisingly well. Generally, it, you, you know, it's gonna, you're gonna have more authority if you're pulling as opposed to pushing, but that's why you need to make sure it's supported very well. Another example, which is a pretty classic, pretty common thing, is to use uh, barbecue skewers, something like like these little sticks here. Um, you can get these like at you know your local grocery store or possibly the Dollar Tree, just like little shush kebab barbecue skewer things. And what you can do is you can tape or glue or heat shrink or something the actual wire piece to the end. This one's a little beat up, but you can do that. You can also use like paper clips or something and just uh, tape it to the ends. It's a pretty good method. It's 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 not necessarily my favorite method, but it does actually work pretty well um, because you get that rigidity of the, the the wooden skewer, and then you can also adjust it to any length you need fairly easily. So what you could do is like use a, a skewer, and then maybe use some of this safety wire or this floral wire at the end there. And just to give you an example here, just to kind of a demonstration, I guess, of showing the amount of force that you can uh, push with one of these. Uh, uh, control rods. I've got a little uh, scale here. So I'll just go ahead and hold this control rod about, I don't know, four inches. We'll try, we'll say four inches um, from the end. And I'll see kind of how much force I can put on the scale before this thing bends too much. So let's, let's give this a try. Oh my, let's have it sliding on the glass. So if I can get straight on it, get about one, two pounds. Oh, wow. I think that was about two and a half pounds or so in the floral wires. So four inches pressing straight down, 2.6, two, three. Wow. Okay. So that was like, that was like over three before this kind of slipped. And you know, I'm not holding it necessarily perfectly straight. Now let's try the guitar string. And I know this is not going to go very well. <laughs> One point, 1.7 ounces. This is a E string. So it's a much thicker, still very flimsy though. Let's try this out. Oh no, that's not good at all. Well, it's slightly better than the other one, but. So basically with the guitar strings, you really have to support them well. Let's try maybe like two inches away. Can we get at least a pound? No. Ugh, like 12 ounces. Now let's try the safety wire here. Let's Oh, right about three pounds, I think, of pressure. So, um, yeah, that's actually, that's pretty good. There you go, everybody. Hope that was helpful. Now you have some ideas for some DIY control rod solutions. And if you have any other sort of creative solutions, let me know. Leave me a comment below. And let me know what you thought of these. Which one would you use? Would you go with the guitar string, with the safety wire, or with the Dollar Tree floral wire? I can tell you right now that I would go with the Dollar Tree floral wire. Um, I would, I'd give that a try first, see how that works out for you, uh, because that's gonna be the cheapest and most available uh, method. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate you, I appreciate your time. Thank you for subscribing if you have already, and if not, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and you wanna see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.